Hey everyone welcome to Arrow Raider the Hindustan, HAL, HLFT, 42, unveiled as a scale model at Aero India 2023, represents India's ambitious foray into developing a next-generation supersonic lead-in fighter trainer, lift. Designed to bridge the training gap between basic jet instruction and advanced fighter operations, the HLFT-42 aims to equip pilots with the skills necessary to operate sophisticated aircraft like the HAL Tejas MK-2 and the forthcoming Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA. The HLFT-42's design pays homage to India's first indigenous jet, the HF-24 Marat, evident in its aerodynamic profile and structural aesthetics. This modern trainer is envisioned to feature a single-engine configuration with traditional swept wings, measuring approximately 16 meters in length, 9 meters in wingspan, and 4.6 meters in height. The aircraft is projected to have a maximum takeoff weight of 16,500 kilograms, an internal fuel capacity of 3,500 kilograms, and a payload capacity of 4,500 kilograms, distributed across 11 hardpoints.In 2025. HAL initiated a significant redesign of the HLFT-42 based on feedback from the Indian Air Force IAF. This iteration emphasizes enhanced combat capabilities, positioning the aircraft not only as a trainer but also as a potential light combat aircraft capable of undertaking operational missions. The HLFT-42 is slated to incorporate state-of-the-art avionics to provide trainees with a realistic and comprehensive training environment. Key features include Active electronically scanned array AESA, radar, facilitates advanced target detection and tracking capabilities Active electronically scanned array AESA, radar, facilitates advanced target detection and tracking capabilities. Infrared search and track heuristic, system, enables passive detection of airborne threats without emitting detectable signals. Electronic warfare EW, suite, offers defensive measures against electronic threats and enhances survivability in contested environments. Fly-by-wire FBW, control system, provides precise and responsive flight control, enhancing maneuverability and safety. To achieve its performance objectives, HAL issued a request for information RFI, in 2025 for a jet engine capable of delivering 95 to 100 kilonewtons KN, of thrust with a technical life of 6,000 hours. This thrust range is critical for the HLFT-42 to attain high-speed flight profiles, with a projected top speed exceeding Mach 1.2, while maintaining stability during lower speed training exercises advanced training, serving as a lift platform. It aims to prepare pilots transitioning from basic trainers to advanced frontline fighters, effectively replacing aging trainers like the BAE Hawk 132. Defense News India Plus 4 IMR Plus 4 Wikipedia Plus 4 Combat Operations Beyond training, the HLFT-42 is being designed with combat capabilities, enabling it to undertake operational missions. Its design includes provisions for carrying a variety of weaponry, such as beyond visual range missiles like the Astra and close combat missiles like the Osram. A notable aspect of the HLFT 42's development is its potential role as a mothership for the combat air teaming system, CATS, Warrior, an unmanned combat air vehicle, UCAV. This integration aligns with contemporary trends in manned unmanned teaming, MUMT, aiming to enhance mission capabilities and operational flexibility. As of April 2025, the HLFT-42 project is in an advanced stage of development, with HAL actively seeking suitable engine options and refining the aircraft's design based on IAF inputs. The timeline for prototype production and subsequent testing phases will depend on the finalization of design specifications and successful integration of the selected engine and avionics systems. The HLFT-42 represents a significant step forward in India's indigenous aerospace capabilities, aiming to provide a comprehensive training solution while also offering operational versatility. Its development reflects HAL's commitment to equipping the IAF with modern, capable platforms that address both current and future operational requirements.